Question A. Benzene is an aromatic molecule. Part A. State the CCC bond angle and the hybridization shown by the carbon in the benzene. Okay, so first, you need to know the structure of the benzene. Okay, so from this uh, structure, we know that the carbon is formed three sigma bond and one pi bond with others. So the hybridization must be sp2. Or you can say that because of the sp2 hybridization, okay, so it has this kind uh, these bondings. And all the carbon now, their, ge their geometry is trigonal planar. When in the benzene ring, so this ring will be a hexagon structure. So it means it's still a planar structure. So the bond angle between the C, C, C means, let's say this one, C, 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 it will be 120 because all these carbon, they are trigonal planar. Right. So the bond angle is 120, hybridization confirmed is sp2. And this one, all this uh, hybridization and bond angle, you already learned in AS. Part B, benzene reacts with chloroethane in the presence of a catalyst. The reaction mechanism is called electrophilic substitution. Okay, part one. The first step in the reaction is the generation of the uh, this ethyl uh, cation or ethyl carbocation, and this is an electrophile. Write an equations for the reactions that generate this electrophile. Very easy. So it must be the chloroethane. So the chloroethane will break heterolytically, and the chloride will combine with the catalyst to form ALCL4 negative and these carbocate ions will, uh, will be generated. Part 2. Describe the mechanism for the reactions between the benzene and this ethyl carbocate ion. So very easy. First, you must draw an arrow from benzene ring point to the positive charge. The carbon with positive charge, this carbocation ion. Okay, so the arrow point to here because the electrons from benzene ring now donate to the uh, carbocation ion. It must point to this carbon with charge positive. After that, it's from new bonding. So one of the C in benzene ring form a new bonding with this uh, carbocation ion. So here, C C bonds form. And it's from this intermediate. Okay, you must show one of the CH bond. Okay, must draw one arrow. Okay, from the CH bond to the benzene ring, or inside the, into the benzene ring, because it's showing that CH bond break. These two electrons now is going to move into the benzene ring to restore the benzene ring characteristic. So after that, the H will removed or it will released as the proton and it's formed the new products. This ethyl benzene. Part C. Coral benzene and coral ethane have different reactivities in nucleophilic substitution reaction. This one most likely is about the uh, hydrolysis. The best example is hydrolysis. And this one you also learn in AS. You should know how to uh, uh, how the reactions goes. Okay, part one. Identify a suitable reagent to illustrate this difference in reactivity. The reagent chosen should be uh, should give with uh, the visibly different results with coral benzene and the, this coral eating. So the best uh, reagent used must be silver nitrate. So from what you learn in the AS, hydrolysis of halogeno alkane, for example, coral eating. So it will form alcohol. 
and HCl. Okay, again, H2O will react with the chloroethane. One of the H from the uh, H2O will combine with the chlorine to form HCl, and the OH here will combine with the CH3CH2 to form ethanol. So this is the hydrolysis of the chloroethane. And again, this one you already learned in AS. Okay, once the HCl form, so it will further react with the silver ion to form silver chloride. And this is the white precipitate. So which means chloroethane when it reacts with the water oh sorry it we react with the silver nitrate solution you can see white precipitate form but the chlorobenzene it will not form the precipitate because it will not undergo hydrolysis right so no reactions happen okay these are the difference uh, between the chloroethane and the chlorobenzene Okay, part 3. Explain the difference in the reactivities of chlorobenzene and the chloroethane in the, this nucleophilic substitution reaction. So why the chlorobenzene is not that reactive and not able to react with the water? It's because of the bonding. The CCL bond is actually strong. Okay, why? Because the p orbital of the chlorine overlap with the pi electron system in the benzene ring and the lone pair see the lone pair therefore the lone pair on the chlorine can delocalize into the benzene ring once it start the delocalization it will form the ccl double bond so it will form a partial ccl bond say a ccl uh, double bond and this is actually uh, strengthen the bond therefore it's more difficult to break when it's more diffi difficult to break then it's harder for it to undergo hydrolysis that's why the coral benzene is less likely to react with the water or the silver nitrate solution ah, that's the difference okay that's all thank you